Hey everyone, it's January 1st, a new year, time to build a better you, a better me. In this video, we are removing complexity. We are making this workout as simple as possible. I call this the one song, one jump rope move workout. So right now in the background, I'm listening to you too. And what I will do from time to time, I get to combine two things that I love, music and exercise. I'll play one song and I'll just do one jump rope move for the entire duration of the song. If you make a mistake, that's okay. Take a short rest and continue. The key is one song, one jump rope move. We don't have to think about focusing on other jump rope moves or certain time limits. Choose a song that you enjoy and just jump rope for that song. And then maybe play another song, do a different jump rope move and so on and so forth. Awesome style workout, very fun. I'll do this one using the jump rope jog step, just like this. Uh, I'm gonna rewind this track right here. And so I decided to change the song to With or Without You, a classic U2 song. So the move that I'm doing now is the jump rope jog step. And you will see me perform this while moving forwards and backwards. And then I also do it from a side angle and also moving around in a circle. So you can see the move being performed at uh, different angles. And I have a tutorial on this move if you're interested in learning it. It's just a fantastic jump rope move. You're shifting your body weight from one foot to another in an alternate fashion. So with each step, one foot gets a momentary rest. And if you are feeling particularly fatigued, you can slow down the speed at which you're spinning the rope, which means you can keep one foot on the ground for a longer period of time. So the other foot that's in the air is getting a longer rest. So it's a fantastic move to incorporate into uh, long duration workouts. And if you, of course, if you wanna run faster, just spin the rope faster. So this is such a good workout to start the new year. I woke up early, drank a few cups of coffee. I did some reading, watched a few videos, listened to a few uh, powerful messages. And then I went outside and got a fantastic jump rope workout in. I performed a few sets like this. You'll see another set after this in which I perform the boxer's can-can step, which is popular with boxers like uh, Manny Pacquiao and Gennady Golovkin. So you'll see that move uh, very soon. And then I also did a set involving crisscrosses. And I just changed the music. I changed the song for each of those sets. And then afterwards, I just did some freestyle skipping and then I did some calisthenics and went for a 30 minute run. I'm doing quite a bit of physical training these days because I'm considering entering in a, a, a particular event this summer. I'm not going to say anything about it yet, just in case I, uh, I don't do it. Sometimes I feel like if you talk too much about goals, it can kind of have a reverse effect on your mind where your mind actually feels like it's already achieved a goal. So I know I've done this myself and I know a lot of people who have done something similar. They've talked about something they want to achieve and then shortly thereafter they give up. It's almost as if your mind believes you've already achieved the goal so you're not as committed to putting in the effort. So over the last few years I do a lot less talking and just a lot more action. So this is a fantastic way to exercise. Choose some music that you like and choose one jump rope move and just do that one move for the entire duration of the song. And like I said, if you make a mistake, that's okay. Take a short rest if necessary, or just start immediately again and keep skipping. Make a mistake, same again. Rinse and repeat. Just jump rope for one song. Very simple. So you're combining two great health practices, exercise and music. Music has been found to improve mood and uh, well-being and then you're combining it with exercise with, with jump rope which has numerous health benefits so fantastic workout and you'll notice here I'm wearing shorts I'm also wearing a tube even though it's winter time and it's very cold today it was minus three so you can see under my laptop there I have a, a towel and I put the towel there because the roof was so cold and I didn't want the cold going up through my laptop and on the recording device that I'm using I, I put a sock around it to keep it extra insulated because oftentimes one thing I discovered over the last few years if you're exercising outside in really cold weather the battery of the device can run out very quickly or it might just power off automatically because the 
just it's just too cold. But I all I do tend to wear shorts even in the winter time. One, I like the feeling of cold on my legs, and it doesn't take long to warm up once once you start moving your body, and you get some good cold exposure. And also, if it's sunny, you can get some vitamin D from the sunshine, even if it's winter time. It's great to expose your skin to the sun and get some vitamin D. I think. So this first song with or without you is soon coming to an end and i will take a short break as you will soon see and i will be talking again with you and then i'll go into another set involving the boxers can can jump rope move so i'll just be silent here for a minute and just observe the technique So that's it, one song, one jump rope move. And I added a layer of difficulty by doing the move while moving up and down a little bit and moving around in circles. Just so you could see what the move looks like from some different positions and to show you one way which you can add a little bit of intensity to the one move, one song jump rope workout. Of course, you can always spin the rope faster. In the name of love is coming on here, I'm going to stop it. Back in a second. So I'm just changing song. Okay, so that song, Pride in the name of love is coming on. I'm going to do one more set for this one. I think I will do the boxers can can step. I've made a tutorial video on this before if you'd like to learn how to do this. So it's a really fun move to do and uh, it's great for this type of song because it's great for music I should say because you're kind of dancing when you're doing this can-can. Let me show you. Let me hit play first. So the next song I'll be listening to is Pride. Another great U2 song. I actually saw the U2 in concert just recently and I've been listening to their music ever since. If you have a chance to see U2 live, I, I highly recommend it. They put on a fantastic show. So this is the Boxers Can Can Step. This is a really fun move to do. And you wanna make sure that your ankles and Achilles tendons, your lower legs are properly warmed up before you, you do this Pacquiao move. Because since you are jumping, and jumping and jump with one foot at a time, see them perform this move. each foot is doing basically two hops with each can-can step, you're placing quite a bit of body weight on that one leg and uh, more impact than you would if you're doing, say, the boxer step or an alternate, uh, the jog step, where you alternate your feet with Telephone each hop. You already do right this with two hops TV on each cable foot. As well. So the body that. weight is being put on that leg upset that first. More not a great, good way to start the new year. An alternate step for jumping with both feet at the same time or doing basic boxer step. So make sure your lower legs are properly warmed up. But notice my technique here. The feet, or rather the foot that is jumping off the ground, I'm jumping very low to the ground. And I'm trying to land on the ground as gently as possible. I don't want to make a lot of noise with my feet when I'm jumping. If I am making a lot of noise, that means I'm jumping with too much force or landing with too much impact. And notice my body, it's relatively straight, relatively upright. My arms are close to the sides of my body. I'm trying to spin the rope using mostly my wrists and of course your, lo your lower arms, your forearms and your elbows will also be in involved to some extent. My back is relatively straight. My head is relatively straight, relatively upright. My spine is aligned. So I'm not hunching over. If you're hunching over, remember your head weighs quite a lot of weight. So if you're hunching over, one, you're putting too much strain or unnecessary strain on your spine. And if you're hunched over, it also means you're not using your lungs as well as you could be. If you're hun hunching over, your lungs, your chest isn't being able to expand. Whereas I'm jumping right now with my arms back to the sides of my body, I'm remaining relatively upright. So it's very comfortable to breathe, even though I'm doing aerobics. So just 
trying to use good technique. Remember, you don't have to jump too high off the ground. And that comes with practice. When you first start jumping rope, you're going to jump a little bit higher than necessary, maybe a lot higher than necessary. And with practice and over time, you'll find yourself jumping lower and lower to the ground. You'll be using more efficient technique. You'll be able to time your jumps a lot better. When you're new to jumping rope, we often jump too soon. And because we jump too soon, that means we have to jump high. Otherwise, the rope will get tangled in our feet. But over time, once you, your skill level increases, you're going to be able to jump off the ground just as the rope is approaching the ground. So if you go into YouTube after this and you look at videos of Manny Pacquiao or Gennady Golovkin jumping rope, you will most likely see them perform this move. It's a fantastic move for giving each leg a momentary break between the jumps. And it's also just a lot of fun. Another song done. So there are two examples of this jump rope method involving music and jump rope. It's just a really fun way to work out. And when you focus on just doing one jump rope move, it's amazing how your mind might wander. It becomes very therapeutic, kind of like meditation. And imagine practicing a few minutes, just one move. If you do that a couple times a week, imagine how good you're gonna get at that jump rope move. And you choose a song. The song might last anywhere from three to five minutes. Or if you wanna choose longer songs, that's fantastic. Imagine if you do that every day. Just listen to one song, one, one song that boosts your mood and you exercise at the same time. How's that gonna feel? If you do that every day or a couple days a week, that's gonna have a huge impact long-term, especially if you're going from doing no exercise to listening to one song while you exercise, that can have huge benefits. And you don't have to limit yourself to just jump rope. You can do resistance training in this fashion. So for example, do a few push-ups, rest, do a few more push-ups, or do a plank, hold a plank for as long as you can, maybe 10, 20 seconds, take a rest, continue doing that until the song is up. You do that one song, one movement every day, it's gonna have huge impact on your health. What do you say we do one more jump rope move? What would you guys like me like to see me do? Crisscrosses, you got it. Okay guys, so we're approaching the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish everyone a, a happy new year and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for all your support.